is a nine-year-old. Um, he was born with a mitochondrial disease. It took us three years, nine months for them to finally get a diagnosis. Through child life at Phoenix Children's Hospital, Jace spends a lot of time there. And Heather talked to us about it and asked if we'd be interested. So she nominated him. It was be awesome, but not this awesome. I felt special. I felt happy. It helps me when I feel down. I sometimes it hates me a while, but my mom helps me get through it. Totally, it's way past what I expected or thought. They've done an amazing job, and to see him come in here and be happy and play and all of his medical equipment is hidden. My story is I have pseudotumor cerebri, which that means I have too much spinal fluid that builds up. I have a port in my chest that I get monthly IV treatments in because I have an extremely rare eye disease it's called relentless progressive placoid epitheliopathy. <laughs> and that is a mouthful. <laughs> and that means I just have too much scarring. It's an autoimmune disease. It's just my body's attacking my eyes and I could go blind at any minute. The coolest thing was I didn't even tell them or tell them really much to do. Well, I pretty much just said I wanted to be pink and black and somewhere I could lay down and watch a movie. And they did everything. That's literally all I said. And they nailed my personality to a T. Like, I am a definite diva and I love this stuff. It blew me away. I didn't even know what to say. It was the coolest experience ever. My name is Kyle and I go to Perry High School and I'm a senior. I like playing video games and I have a dog, Kona. Uh, from muscular dystrophy, but it's uh, Duchenne's. I have it affects my muscles. The theme of my room is under sea lamp, and it makes me feel like I'm um, under the ocean, observing sea life. I was in awe when I saw the room. I still am when I come in here. It's just really fun place to be. The one thing I like the most about my room is the mural on the wall next to my bed.